I kind of do enjoy having good condition because like being average height would just be so weird to me now. It's just the way I dress. I don't think about trends just because I've never been able to find the trendy items. So I form my own style. Essentially, pretty much all of these are from the kids section. Uh, Sides from maybe one or two items. My mum hates the fact that I have so many stripy tops, but I just find them so easy to shuck with some plain trousers. Clashing patterns on the odd occasion. So I have a contraplasia, which is a form of a torso, where you have an average size torso, but your limbs are shorter. I am three foot eight, I believe. It's not something I think about. Go to the kids section first because I'm more likely to find something there than the adult section. I get the odd stare from a child, but it's more so the parent who will ask me, not in a derogatory or condescending manner. It's like, oh, you still find stuff in this section that must be really good for you because it's cheaper. Mostly trousers are altered. Tops I can get away with now and again. Sleeves or jumpers. It's a nightmare. It started as a blog about fashion. I've always wanted to start a blog, but blogging is becoming so normalised now and everybody's doing it. You had to find a niche. I was talking to a friend maybe two years ago. I said, oh, I really like your outfits. So I started posting in April 2018 as one or two posts as I was away at the time and I really liked my outfits. I did not know how to caption anything or how to approach the subject. So I just posted, kept posting like that before I realised, okay, this could be something serious. Just became twice to three times a week, sometimes daily, if I'm really liking my outfit. It's just the way I dress. I don't think about trends. Don't really think about how everybody else is styling themselves. Just because I've never been able to find the trendy items, so I form my own style. People ask me, where do you get the stop? How do you do it? Because I've been searching for this for ages and it's really helped me. And the rewarding aspect of that just makes me want to push it further. You'll find plenty of time to tidy your room, wouldn't you? Because I think... When Caitlin was born, she had a clean bill of health. Everything seemed normal. As the months progressed, she just didn't get any bigger. And it took six months of blood tests and checkups to come to the conclusion that she had achondroplasia, mm. which is the most common form of dwarfism. Caitlin's done everything she wanted to do, other than, you know, have a full-size hockey stick, because that wasn't a good idea. <laughs> so a lot of issues we face is going to the bathroom in public. I'm just gonna put it out there because a lot of the door locks are too high. The same applies to when I'm paying for something in a shop. The card holder will not reach out, so I have to pass it to a friend or mm. pass it to the assistant who will do it for me. She appears different to people and people don't know how to approach her. There's a lot of negativity around. And really, I think we should all be positive and all see each other for who we are. No, Recently, that is always very emotional for us when we have to talk about Caitlin all the time. Recently, she went off to London on her own, on a train, to meet a friend, and we were worried sick. And that's her first taste of independence at 18 and a half. It's the first time she's done something on her own, which I think for a lot of people would be quite normal, but for her it was a big deal. I know they walk around the house to do this. She was really artistic. The first day that I met her, she was playing guitar, and I thought that was quite cool. Her fashion sense is just amazing. Like she just finds the best outfits from some random stuff, and yeah. it just works so well. I will always go to Caitlin for fashion advice. Like always. Caitlin never lets anything get in her way. She's so determined yeah. to do what she wants to do, and she doesn't let anything stop her, even like her condition. Yeah, like when she wants something, she wants it, and she will go for it. I kind of do enjoy having good condition because I can't think of myself in any other sort of format. Like being average height would just be so weird to me now.